Today I'm doing a video on this old cemetery uh, out here in the uh, kind of the outskirts of Camp Hill, Alabama, and uh, so it looks like a pretty old cemetery. It's kind of off the beaten path a little bit, and I'm going to uh, walk around and show you the cemetery. Ada Sue Lockhart, It's like 1882, I think. Yeah. Nineteen sixty-nine, Ella Green and George Green. Nineteen eighty one. Sixty four, two thousand twelve. Lucille F. Geis, 1915 to 2018.
Dickens. 26, 1944 to September 5, U.S. Army, World War II, October 15th, 1911, April 7th, 2017. If you'll be nice, it'll follow you. So that's the cemetery uh, next to this old church here. Uh, I'll get the name and I'll put the name of the church in this video uh, so you know where it's at. And uh, anyway, just showing the old cemetery. It looks like it's pretty well kept up. A lot of flowers and stuff. Tell people to visit a lot. Um, as with anything, I always worry sometimes that somebody might not like me putting uh, some of these, some of their family members on. So if anybody ever sees many of my videos and has a problem in it, just let me know and I'll take it down. But I, I mean no disrespect. I'm trying to honor honor people and uh, just kind of visit and, and uh, visit old cemeteries and I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you let me know what you think about the video. And remember, not all those who wander are lost. Thanks for watching. I know the video was over, but I wanted to highlight this Roger Williams one more time. Um, looking at is he, he's born in 1911, so he would have been in his 30s in World War II and lived to 2017, 105 years old. I bet the stories he could tell. I mean, he lived through World War II and he lived through the Great Depression, World War II, and some of the worst parts of uh, of our history uh, he lived through. Uh, I bet he could tell many, many tales. I'm sure he was a joy to be around. And what he put on his headstone here is, is, is awesome. If you'll be nice, it will follow you. That's uh, words of wisdom from somebody who lived a long life and witnessed a lot of things. I didn't know him, but I'm sure this was a great guy and a hero. And it is an honor to... Come by and pay respects to him. Rest in peace, sir. I salute you.